Hello friends, my name is Jeremy and I'm going to show you how to hack your PS3. If you were excited about the kernel exploits on the PSP, you probably feel the way I do about ports and emulators. This is just one more step in the right direction for any gamer who likes old games. If you're not familiar with hacking your PlayStation systems, don't worry. I'll walk you through the whole process. It's really not all that complicated because the hackers have done pretty much all of the heavy lifting for us. Uh, first, let's make sure we have a few things. We'll need a computer with internet connection, a PS3 with 3.55 official firmware. If you're not sure, you can check by navigating your PlayStation's XMB to Settings, System Settings, and all the way down to System Information, and there you'll have your firmware version. Most of us have 3.55 but if you happen to have uh, 3.41 or sooner or if by even less chance you have 1.92 I suggest that you keep that and do a dongle jailbreak you can google it for more info we'll also need a USB device that's FAT32 formatted a flash drive, mini USB memory stick heck even a Blackberry will work now that we have everything we'll start by downloading a few files Open your web, web browser and type this address, or just copy and paste from the description. Geohot.com forward slash jailbreak dot zip. And save the file to your preferred location. And now let's do one more. It's ps3-hacks.com forward slash download dot php question mark id equals 243 and save that again to whatever location you like here we'll click open folder and we have a uh, jailbreak ps3 and snes i'm going to 7-zip them to their respective folders and let's keep this window open on the downloads page now is the time to plug in your USB storage device like I said it can be any FAT32 storage device I'm using my hacked PSP this process is done the same no matter what type of storage you use if you have autoplay click open folder to view files okay now this is the inside of my PSP if you don't have autoplay open it up through start computer and you'll have a removable disk listed somewhere on there you can double click that and it'll bring up the same window now in here you want to create a new folder labeled PS3 I already have mine in here and inside PS3 you'll create a new folder called update and open up update your update will be empty and you'll take from what we just downloaded under jailbreak PS3 uh, version 3.55 you'll copy this pup file and send it over here to the update folder that we just created this is the custom firmware that let us run the Super Nintendo package now go to the root directory of your storage device create a new folder called SNES 9x and open it leave this window open and go back to your downloaded files and open the folder that begins SNEX 9x now you have all these files here if you want to read about the program you can do it in here this is just more information uh, these are three versions of the package you may have a 1.92 or 3.41 if you haven't updated yours in a while or if you've previously used custom firmware <laughs> but most of us have the 3.55 firmware and so this will be the one we're using so take the package file that ends in CFW 3.55 and copy it over to your SNES 9x folder that we just created on your storage device this is the Super Nintendo port for the PS3 this is uh, the package that will install after we do the custom firmware now you can remove your storage device start your PS3 in the normal way now plug in your storage device 
when the XMB comes up, go to Settings, System Update, Update via Storage Media. It'll find the file and copy it. Basically, this just adds a folder to your Games tab that can install packages on your HDD. Your system will beep a few times, then it'll turn off. Uh, turn it back on by pressing the power button after it turns off. Not the controller. It, it won't work if you try to use the controller. Now this doesn't support backups yet. You'll need to wait for a level 2 kernel exploit to do that, so keep checking ps3hacks.com for more info. Uh, for now only Homebrew is supported. And presto, now you have GeoHot's custom firmware 3.55 installed. The last step here, go to the games tab and the folder here. It'll read the SNES package from my PSP and I'll install it. There we go. Now you can play your favorite Super Nintendo games on your PS3. And now all you need is to download the ROMs of the games that you want. You can find some on doproms.com or search the BitTorrent sites like the Pirate Bay. And in the Pirate Bay you'll find if you just type SNES ROMs you'll have several torrents that will come up. Thanks to Fail Overflow for finding the gaping hole in Sony's security, uh, GeoHot for releasing the custom firmware, and Square Pusher for the SNES port release. And thank you, person, for watching this video.